What do you say to people who think, that's weird? I like it. I mean, I don't, I don't mind that they think it's weird or if they don't like it, it's just, it's part of the environment now. And it's only been part of the environment in place for about two months. And perhaps you've noticed it. Driving west on Front Street, walking north on 5th, there's an interesting new art piece attached to a Boise parking garage that you just saw just there. It's getting some interesting looks, too, and interpretations. But if you haven't seen it, well, let us introduce you to the pale blue dot in downtown Boise. It's the most recent. That's really awesome. And possibly the most unparalleled piece of public art in Boise. It's something very attractive for sure. On the northwest corner of 5th and Front. I think it's grand. I think it's really beautiful. There's a sculpture that catches your attention and lets your imagination. I'm not sure. Run wild. People scaling things for what they love. The artist took it like a sand clock and went creative with it. The artist. My name is John Yarnell and I am the lead artist and creative director for Studio Capacitor. Certainly went creative with it. To me, it's about connection. It's called Pale Blue Dot. John's idea was inspired by Carl Sagan and the view of Earth from the Voyager space probe. Visualizing it from a distance, seeing how insignificant we are as human beings on this planet, and that resonated with me deeply when I was thinking about this, this piece, this um, need for connection between human beings. Evidenced by a couple of life-sized figures reaching for each other. Like we're living in this digital age where we're just, we got our heads buried in our phones or we're watching Netflix until we pass out on the couch. Is that a product of the political environment, the way we're treating the planet, or is it this new technology that we, we all love and adopted and then you know, created this place where we just don't communicate enough to realize how much we are, how connected we are together? Or why we need to uh, remember that we have more in common than we do, you know, that divides us basically. A disconnect that's become more distinct as John nears his fifth decade on this planet. You know, over the last, it seems like seven or eight years, we've been more divided as a society than I can ever remember. You don't really get that feeling from it at all. You understand the more words it takes to explain something, the more balderdash it is. Well, no matter how you see it. A graduate art school project run amok. There's more than one way to see it, which is fitting for this faceted art form. It was huge. It took more than two years for John and his staff to put it together and just two days for them to place the piece on the side of the parking garage. The logistics that we had to get over just to, to take the piece that was now fabricated, move it to that location, and then install it on a wall that's 90 feet tall in the middle of winter. But it's what they used that makes it unique. Yeah, so this is a material called a Lucabon. Something that has never been shaped into a sculpture before, John says. And reflects back all this iridescent light at you. So it goes from that pale blue dot to like this deep, deep blue purple color that kind of like the earth does from different angles. Whether that's waiting at the light or walking across the street. But the best view may be from directly below. And if you walk up to that wall and look straight up at it, you get the most unique experience. It changes gravity basically for you because it's designed in a way so when you look up at it, it feels like that's the plane of the earth at that point. You just see blue sky behind, behind you, you feel like you're on some desert plain and there's an oasis in the middle of it and these people are migrating towards it for some reason. Each figure inches closer to the watering hole drawn by the shared human need for connection and safety. It's also about the impact we place on that pool, the repercussions of ripples. And each one of those kind of overlap each other from other people's ripples that are going across and they all have consequences. And that's, that's what those ripples in the water represent to, to me. Pale Blue Dot explores an idealistic world in which humanity comes together and agrees to set aside personal differences to share Earth's precious resources. And we just need to remember that that is something that, that binds us together, you know, and stop focusing on the things that, the small things that divide us is what this is about. It's a lot more than just blue dudes on a wall. It's a lot more than blue dudes on a wall, yeah. So, yay Boise. Now John says there's another common denominator with the pale blue dot sculpture. He went with blue for the life-size figures because, well, all of us are about 60% water. John says it's not just from where you view the piece, but also what time of day, depending on the shadows, all that plays a part. And it can change the experience. So check it out. And so does the snow that collects on it in the wintertime or the rain that drips off while either it's melting or just the rain that just falls through or falls, I should say, on the sculpture. So next time you're there, you see it, 
Just stand directly below it and see if you can get that same vision that he's talking about.